www.newtheboss.com. Again, my name's Ty. Uh, this video is still a part of the ZTE ZX V1LW300 modem router series video tutorials that I've actually created. Um, you can check out some that might help you in setting up your router or modem. Got listed in there on New to Works as our YouTube channel. But for now, what I would like to show you is uh, on how you can change uh, the password or Wi-Fi password. Um, I'm assuming that you can access your router from here, 192.168.0.1. Sorry, dot one, dot one. And if you can't, there's a different tutorial that we have. You just check that out. And it should log you in. And also, I'm thinking that since the question is just on how you can change the Wi Fi password or the pass key, of course, you did set up a Wi Fi network already. If you haven't yet, again, we have a different tutorial for that. Just look that up in the list below. Uh, you go for something that says interface setup right here, internet, LAN, wireless, click on wireless, and look up for something that says uh, SSID here. This is your SSID or your network name. This is the one that your Wi-Fi devices would see whenever they search for Wi-Fi uh, routes or Wi-Fi signals. So again, the question was just to actually change the passkey. So we don't change that now, just the password. If you want to use 64-bit encrypted password, which basically uses uh, alphanumeric characters, yes, you can right here. You can do that. Um, this is where you change that. Got a key one. So let's say um, black, say green, all right? Something like that. And also, if you'd want to use a higher encrypted password, PSK, it should ask you to type in a hexadecimal number, like 8 to 63 ASCII characters, like this. Buy Intel. See that? Pre shared key. So TKPAES, that's going to be fine. But again, re verify here. WPA PSK, TKIP AES, or you could also use just TKIP, but basically you just have to select both so you don't have to worry about rechanging that again. So pre shared key, again, hexadecimal characters. You would need numbers and you would need letters for this. So uh, this is a bit of a higher encrypted password compared to 64 bit, but I mean. If you just would want to simply do that and not protecting very much of anything in your network, just select back WEP, then uh, just type in any password right here. Also, just let me add a little bit. If you want to change the SSID together, just change that from here. Uh, change the network name. Uh, sometimes, if you really would want to change the password, it's always better to change the SSID. Why? Because it's going to cache on devices let's say here it's in there already it's connected we, if you just change the password sometimes it can't recognize that you did change the password why because it's seeing the same ID basically you have to refresh everything you can change the SSID too along with the password I'm not saying you do that but in case you get into troubles that you really can't connect after changing to a newer password try to do that it would somehow help Again, my name is Ty. Uh, do check out some of the video tutorials on YouTube, youtube.com slash and on our website, nudaboss.com. Thanks for watching.